Okay, this is the Jandy Aqua Pure salt system. And there's the cell right over there. I'm gonna show you how to clean the cell. And also a common problem that these systems have. Okay, there's a sensor that threads in right here at the bottom of this pipe. And it's connected to the power center here. And that sensor on two of my three units has gone bad. You can't take it off and clean it with a steel wool brush and maybe it'll work for you. But again, it's that sensor right there. And I'll give you the exact error code that it will appear on your screen. And um, when that happens, the system is not actually running because of that reason. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean the cell to show you how it's done. You're gonna need a bucket, acid, a mask for the acid, gloves, and safety glasses. You wanna take a quick photo with your cell phone or a regular camera so you know how to put it back in, which direction it goes. They only go one direction, so you want to make sure you put everything back the way you took it out. You want to loosen these unions. They should be hand tight. Go ahead and take out both of these, and we'll pop the cell out. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the unit. I'm going to make a note of which direction the plug is actually facing. I'm going to put it back in the same way. Okay, next you want to fill a bucket with water. And then you want to drop the cell in there. And you make sure that all the plates are covered with water. And then you're going to slowly pour the acid in. Okay, so I want to pour some acid in, and I'm going to get it to where it's going to start the bubble. It needs a little more acid. And you can see the bubbling from the calcium coming off of there, and that's what you want. I would say this is about a 1 6th, 1 7th mixture of acid to water, and it's got that bubbling effect. You don't want it too much acid because it'll ruin the plates. Too little acid and nothing will happen. So that's what you want to see when you put the acid in there. So again, this is about one six, one seventh mixture acid to water. And that's then you just want to rinse it off to get the acid out of there and off the side of the salt cell. Okay, when you reinsert it, make sure that the O-rings are still intact here in the pipe. You don't want to put it in without the O-ring there. Just want to line it back up. Put that union back on. We want to go ahead and plug it back in. And again, make sure we put everything in the same direction we took it off. So it's always good to take a photo of the unit before we start taking things apart. And as you can see, I didn't get that union quite tight enough to so reach some water. Okay, so I tightened it up, not leaking anymore. Okay, now we come over here. We see the service light is on. I already told you about the problem it's having. And it's resetting right now, so once it goes, I'll see if I can get the error code.